What is up, Ninja Nation? It is time for another action-filled pitches of the day. But before we get into the pitches, do me a favor. Heck, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss the content we'll be putting out all year, the interviews, the pitches of the day, pitch grips, and heck, even some cool merch. So hit that subscribe button, and now on to the pitches of the day. Kyle Gibson had this filthy changeup that just dropped off the face of the earth. I mean, look at this. Sir Anthony Dominguez proved he's more than a great name with this 96-mile-an-hour fastball that moved 17 inches. Cole Irvin had a wipeout slider. I mean, check out the break on that thing. You'll be seeing Irvin a lot here, especially because he learned his cutter grip from my YouTube channel. See, there's benefits in subscribing. Tanner Halk was his typical filthy self. I mean, look at that splitter there, and here's a nasty slider. You might remember Halk won the Pitching Ninja 2021 Filthiest Slider of the Year Award due to this filth. I mean, anytime you can hit a dude on a swing and miss in the thigh with your slider, that's filthy. Halk is basically a righty version of Chris Sale. In fact, I flipped Halk here, made him a lefty, and they're almost identical. Tarek Skubal was throwing upper 90s darts and got this White Castle special against Bryce Harper. Remember, in Ninja Lingo, that is three disgusting sliders in a row. That upper 90s fastball combined with his secondary pitches, you might want to take a knee. Dylan Cease was filthy again yesterday. I mean, look at these curveballs and sliders. They are unhittable. You can see why he averaged over 12 strikeouts an inning last year as a starter. I would not be surprised to see Dylan Cease make a run at the Cy Young Award. I mean, how do you hit this stuff? Cease is more than just a filthy breaking ball. He also throws in the upper 90s with Mo Miguel Castro also had a 98-mile-an-hour cup check here. Yep, the boys are okay. In college action, Blade Tidwell was back from his injury, and he's actually supposed to be two, Tennessee's two. ace. Just what they need, another filthy pitcher, sword. And after facing that, he just had to deal with Ben Joyce throwing 102 again. Um, quick on there. 102, Ben Joyce, the volunteer fireman. But my filthiest pitch of the day was this Adam Adovino slider. It broke 21 inches. Check out the movement on this. And as a bonus, here is Adovino's slider grip. I'm just like over in the corner here. Mm -hmm. So like... I'm uh, not like traditional this way. Uh, it's like as if you were going to throw a four seamer, but then you just go all the way in the corner. And I get my finger right in this little hook spot here. And then my thumb kind of, kind of like does like a, like I'm, I get this bone kind of jammed in here. So I have a ton of pressure and I'm all the way on the right side of the ball. So when I release it, I don't think turn it or anything. I just think come right down through it, get my hand out front. And then when you can see on the camera, it's just like I get really on the right side. So that's the thing is I just think that I'm able to leverage a lot of, a lot of um, pressure and tension into the ball. And I'm on the extreme right side of the ball. And that's what makes it come out and head straight left. I don't think it's necessarily a grip thing. I think it's just that this grip allows me to get maximum like squeeze into a, into the corner, if that makes sense. It, it does. And it's interesting. The thumb part's kind of interesting to me because you're, I mean, there's no, t you're not tucking it. You're not having the pad of your thumb. It's more of this, the bone or knuckle part on the side of it. Yeah. It's this knuckle right here. Like it's not even a knuckle, but it's like the, like where your thumb joint goes on the inside of it just kind of like wedge it in there and that my thumb kind of joints back like that and I just kind of wedge it in there and that gives me a little extra squeeze and extra pressure I think a big key to breaking pitches is just tension on the ball 